Do you like being outside, but don't like the cold? I have a great solution for you, coming right up. Hey, what's up guys, Mike here. Today, I'm taking a walk around the old community forest. Not particularly cold out, a little breezy, a little windy. I got my coffee and I'm ready to go. So we've all had those days. We want to go outside, it's just a little bit too cold. We hum and we haw, and then we just decide to stay inside. And if you're like me, you get cold a little bit faster than you used to, and it takes a little longer to shake off the cold. Not a big fan anymore. I found a way to fight the cold with this heated hoodie I have here. I picked it up about a year ago. Keeps me toasty warm. I'll give it a thumbs up. We're gonna talk about that today. So this hoodie is made by Aurora, which is O-R-O-R-O. -O. I'll put a link down below in the description so you can get some more information. These guys make hoodies, vests, gloves, jackets, all sorts of stuff, definitely worth checking out. The main thing I like about this, it just keeps my core warm. I typically wear it under my jacket, gets a nice envelope of warm air around me. Even on the lowest settings, it keeps me warm when it's quite cold outside. Now this is pricier than your standard hoodie, that's for sure, but it provides great value and I think it's worth every penny. Let's take a look at how this thing works. At first glance, this is your typical hoodie. Doesn't look a lot different than most hoodies. It's got three heating zones in it. One here, one here, and one on the back between the shoulder blades. The book says it'll go anywhere from three to 10 hours. I typically use it on the low setting and I've definitely gone eight or nine hours with some battery to spare. This has a rechargeable battery. It sits on the inside right about here. Kind of see the outline right there. So it's behind your pocket. You gotta put stuff in there, it's there, and the battery is up here, kind of out of the way. For me, the battery weighs about the same as my wallet and my cell phone, give or take. So it's not any extra weight, not inconvenient, and it's in a great spot. There's a little zip-up pocket on the inside. So you're right here. Unzip that. Battery comes out. On the battery, we've got a little button. Kind of activates it, so you don't turn it on when you don't want to. It's got a recharging port, it's got a couple of LED indicators, let you know how much you got left. It's got a little USB port. This one's great. If you happen to be out and about and your cell phone's dying, plug your phone into that, keep you going. So now we'll turn it on so you can see it in action. I'm gonna go down, push that little button there. I'm gonna hold this for a few seconds here. It's lit up to be red. Push it once, it's on red, that's your high mode. Push it, goes down to white, that's your medium. Push it one more, goes to blue, that's your low. Like I said earlier, the low is good for me almost every time. When you're all done, just hold that for another few seconds. The light goes out, it's off, you're not using any battery up. If you found this video at all interesting, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below. I personally love it. And if you do, don't forget to click the bell, get notified anytime I put up a new video. Let me grab my coffee here. Now before I go, I have a question for you. Other than a nice hot steaming cup of coffee, do you have any tips for staying warm outside on those days when you might rather stay inside? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what works for you. That's it for now. I'm gonna finish up my walk and I'll see you next time.